so you've just defeated a familiar foe in Tyson McGuffin to compete a very routine run to Championship Sunday in singles play. And on Sunday, you will face a rather unknown opponent. And what do you know about him, and what have you been hearing about him as the day progressed? Um, yeah, so, well, first I'd hardly call the day a routine. Uh, <laughs> there were, it was definitely touch and go for a while. Uh, Tyson played extremely well. Um, he does that from time to time, but that may have been some of the best pickleball I've seen him play. Um, so lucky to get through that one. And uh, Jami, Yami, I don't really know how to pronounce his name exactly. I'm sure he'll tell me, but um, I've played him once. Uh, I think he's an incredible, athletic, quick moving um, guy. He had some, some really sharp roles. He's a very aggressive uh, player from the back. So I think the defense needs to be on point. Uh, definitely need to figure out his patterns. Uh, that, that's huge, of course. And um, I think it's important to convert on, on my thirds in particular because his length is not huge and you know quickness doesn't help you so much in the net. So it'll be important for me to be um, making a lot more passing shots than I did today. Uh, I heard Tyson chirping at you a bit, um, but you were able to keep your cool. How do you handle an opponent like that? Uh, yeah, honestly, Tyson never is really comes at his opponents. Uh, it's it's always to, to himself and his box, so it really doesn't bother me. You know, um, whatever works for the players. You know, as long as it's not antagonistic uh, towards your opponent, which it never is with him, then uh, completely fine by me. And um, it's much more important to focus on your own game than what's happening on the other side of the court. And speaking of, I see you talking to yourself a lot during the match. Are you critiquing yourself, or are you making like subtle comments about uh, your other opponent's no, moves? Mostly, I'm pretty self-deprecating. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's not good stuff back there. It's not very positive, uh, but that's okay. I, I think uh, it's it's important to kind of maybe do that and then kind of get rid of it from your mind and, and move on to the next point. So as much as you might see me doing that, talk to myself, even if it is negative, usually I, I find a way to, to bypass it and move on to the next point in a positive way. Um, and certainly you got to take the good with the bad. So, you know, when you do something well, you, uh, you want to give yourself some credit for that and um, use it basically. A question from the kitchen. How were you holding up under the heat? Tyson looked gas out there. Uh, ben, somehow you did not look winded. Is that a style of play, conditioning, genetics? Um, yes, yeah, so it was extremely hot. I, I haven't seen so many players so out of breath, honestly. So it's not just energy throughout the day. It's literally just heart rate at any given time is, is extremely high. Uh, I could feel it, and I know other players were certainly feeling it. Um, with Tyson, I mean, he, he plays all energy all the time. So it certainly makes sense that uh, by the, the last match of the day, he's going to be a little more tired. Uh, for myself, I think you'll you'll find that I play a little more measured throughout matches, so I wouldn't pin it down so much to stamina or, or fitness. I, I think I'm I'm fine, but I'm no um, no marathon runner. Uh, I think it's more important for me to uh, manage my energy throughout the day, uh, between matches, during matches, and um, that really allows me to perform at the level I want to in the matches where they really matter. If I was an amateur player asking you how to beat Tyson, what would you say? Don't play him. <laughs> As singles is incredibly physical. Do you ever have a moment during the day where you ask yourself, why am I doing this to my body? Um, you know, I think singles certainly can beat up your body a little bit, especially over time. Um, but I, I do find some, some enjoyment in the pain, so to speak. Uh, when, you know, when you're going through that, there is enjoyment in that you're, you're working hard for whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And for that, for, uh, for me, that is always trying to win. Um, so I don't really think about the game or the pain too much, so much as uh, the goal, which is to win. And uh, as long as I do that, then I'll be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you.